Hey y'all, you ever wonder why pasta tastes so much better at your favorite restaurant than it does at home? It's simply because chefs follow three simple rules with what and when to season the pasta, in what and how long to cook the pasta, and a critical step that pulls both your pasta and your sauce together for a plate of delicious restaurant quality pasta. Stick around. Now for this video you'll need one pound of your favorite pasta. I'm going to be using spaghetti today. Now the seasoning. Simply coarse kosher salt. Always use kosher salt to season all of your food, not just pasta. Leave the table salt alone. It has very little flavor. Okay, in what? A large stock pot, about four quarts of water. Take one half cup of that coarse kosher salt. Add it to the boiling water. Never add your salt to the water until it starts to boil. Otherwise, it's just going to sink to the bottom and it could score your pot. Now, this salt is going to flavor this water and this pasta. Once it returns to a boil, add your pasta to the boiling water. Then take some tongs and move it around a little bit, about 45 seconds to a minute to keep it from sticking. A lot of people think you have to add oil to the water to keep the pasta to, from sticking. That's not necessary. In fact, you don't want that oil on there. We want as much starch as we can keep on this pasta. Okay, cook that about one to two minutes less than package directions. That's going to give you a perfect al dente. All right, before you drain it though, take out one cup of that starchy cooking water. This is a critical step. Never skip on this. I'll explain what to do with this in just a second, but set it aside for now. Drain your pasta in a strainer, but never rinse it. Again, we want that starch on there. Then just simply add your drained pasta to your favorite sauce. Add in that one cup of starchy cooking water that's going to marry the sauce and the pasta together. Give that a good toss to make sure your pasta is well coated with your sauce and plate it up and enjoy. Top it off with a little Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and you've got a delicious plate of pasta. Hey guys, if you'll follow these three steps on your next pasta dish, I guarantee you, you won't be dissatisfied. The full directions and the recipes in the description box below the video. Click that show more button, it'll pull it up. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe for more easy and delicious recipes. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. But until next time, bye-bye, y'all.